Sorry, wake up to reality. The world is changing before your eyes, and men are getting weaker by the day. Why? They are being brainwashed into thinking it is okay to be weak and that it is good to cry. You will constantly hear that men should express their feelings and that traditional masculinity is toxic. The world has lied to you. Here is the truth. One of the most fundamental pillars of masculinity is emotional control. This is what separates boys from men. Showing the most emotions doesn't mean you feel the most emotion. And showing less emotion doesn't mean you feel less. Stone-faced men still feel pain, often more pain than the ones crying and screaming. Emotional control isn't lack of emotion, it is a necessary function of maturity. If you lack this skill, you can't lead your own life, let alone lead other people around you. In this video, we will go over three things to help you master emotional control. Number 1. Choose when to show emotions. The best men in the world have control over their emotions. That does not mean they never cry or lack emotions. It means they choose when they allow certain emotions to show. Can you imagine a general in the army breaking down in front of his men? What would that do to the spirit of his team? He has allowed his personal emotions to be more important than his duty as a leader. Instead, a great general picks his moments with his peers or when he is all by himself. The same goes for a father that has lost a family member. This is a situation where it is okay to cry, but it is still not a good thing to fall to your knees in front of your six-year-old daughter and start weeping. It can even be traumatic for a little girl to see her father and the head of the family break down like that. Pick your moment. Women are forgiven for letting their emotions run wild whenever they want. For a man, this is not the case. People will lose respect for you if you do this. Do not misunderstand it. Choosing when you let your emotions out is very different from suppressing your emotions. You can't suppress your emotions. Emotions are a source of energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. It is as if you have a strong beast inside of you and you try to pretend it's not there. People that try to suppress their emotions for too long will eventually implode. This will lead to negative consequences. Instead, you need to learn when to let your emotions out and how to use them intelligently when you do. Number 2. Use your emotions intelligently. Emotions are incredibly powerful. Emotional intelligence is the ability to harness that power. It is not easy to master this, but when you do, it's like a superpower. Most people don't know how to control their emotions and they get consumed by them instead. These people are slaves to their own emotions. Some cheap propaganda in the media will have them all reacting within seconds and change their profile pictures to show fake support. If you do this, know that you are easily controllable and manipulated. It is not necessary to react to everything you notice. Warren Buffett once said, If you cannot control your emotions, you cannot control your money. I will take it a step further and say, If you cannot control your emotions, you cannot control anything in your life. Listen. If you are genuinely angry because your girl left you or for some other reason, you can use that source of energy and get incredible results with it. Most people let their emotions overpower their intelligence. They will be angry, start cursing and breaking stuff, or they will get into bad habits. Some people, they try to suppress that anger completely, but eventually it will always come out in some self-destructive form. Instead of these things, you should learn how to use your emotions. If you wake up feeling angry, start doing something productive. Use it to go to the gym and train like an animal. Pick up some good habits and start making some money. If you feel envious because someone is in a position that you want to be in, don't ignore that emotion. Listen to it and find out how you can use it to level up your own life.
The modern world has encouraged people to be slaves of their own emotions, and they have tricked people into believing the most powerful emotions are always bad. Anger, envy, and even hatred are not bad emotions. If you can't control them, they can be very destructive, but they can also be incredibly productive. If you genuinely hate your bad habits, you will find a way to end those bad habits. Some people hate being overweight so much that you will never see them out of shape. If you hate being broke and living cheap, you will use that extremely powerful emotion to better your life so you never have to be broke again. Emotions are not good nor bad. It's all about how you use them. When you understand this, you will realize that your anger can actually be a gift instead of a curse. Number 3. Man up. Choosing when you show emotions and how you use those emotions intelligently is what creates emotional control. This is a fundamental part of being a man. The term man up has been demonized as toxic, but here is the truth. When you tell a boy to man up, you tell him to control his emotions. You are not telling him to suppress his emotions or that he isn't allowed to feel anything. Men live very different lives than women, and when you try to treat them as women and try to shame the most ancient and effective terms such as man up, you are trying to get rid of masculinity. The end of masculinity would result in the end of humanity. The good thing is that no one can completely get rid of masculinity no matter how hard they try. This is because hard times create strong men, strong men create easy times, and easy times create weak men. Hard times are here, and with that, there will be a rise of strong men. Men up, boy. Hard times are coming for us all.